Hey everyone, so got bit by the Hunger Games. Um, kid uh, liked the uh, Hunger Games movie series and book series, and uh, next thing I wanted to try archery. So a couple of bows later, <laughs> here I am. Uh, I heard about a uh, competition that you have to have 72 arrows and shoot them all within an hour, about 60 meters. You know, because I guess uh, they're, they're looking at medieval times and, you know, you shoot 72 arrows, you don't get them back. So, well, you know, after the competition, obviously, you get them back. But anyway, so I ordered these. These are like, what, a dollar ten, dollar fifteen per in bulk from China. So I'm giving them a try. But the problem is when they came, they were all stuffed. So you get a lot of uh, arrows that are like that. You know, that's not gonna work, so. Anyway, I got a uh, hot air gun from uh, Harbor Freight. <clears throat> Just to show you how to fix the fletchings a little bit. I'll turn it on. Yeah, so, it's nice and hot. <clears throat> Let me see, there's one that's a beauty. So, come over here and kind of heat it up. Kind of a rotisserie style, right? Anyway, these uh, these arrows are like what, a dollar ten, dollar fifteen. I bought seventy-two of them in preparation. I'm, I'm I'm not ready for the competition, but I know that it exists, and I eventually want to you know, try it out and see what I I can do. Seems like a pretty fun little thing. We just heat it up, heat up these uh, the fletchings. It seems to be already be working. I actually uh, got a few of them done already. So just kind of warm them up and when you're done. Put them over here. I wanted to show you guys what one looks like. This one. You know, it was, it was just as bad. I've been getting the, the see how it's got a little bit of heat damage from the hot air gun. But otherwise, it'll fly. It's my new bow. It's a Bear Cruiser G2. So, just want to try it out. This is the first time I'm going to try out the, uh, try out the, uh, the bow with these arrows. I know they're not cut to length yet, so I'm going to get a lot of, a lot of nannies that tell me, oh, you're doing it wrong, or whatever. So, I don't want to know that the instructions on the bow says, do not use your fingers. So, I got to put this on real quick. Just take one shot. One quick shot. <clears throat> Anyway, oh shoot, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, uh, stabilizer set up on this thing. Right now, I'm gonna go get the stabilizer. Stabilizer, stabilizer. And this is the uh, sling. There's many ways to do it, do the stabilizer. This is how I, the stabilizer and the uh, the sling. You know, I didn't know what a, was even what a sling was until a couple of days ago. I was watching videos, like, what the heck is this? Came with my bow. So anyway, put the sling on. And you're supposed to put your, your hands in there and it kind of keeps it, so when you, you let off it you can rotate I'm not I'm not rotating nothing one shot just one shot oh man my range is foul what the hell
here. Let's see. There's my target. Try to set up the camera. Here's my my stand. <laughs> Give it a shot. This thing shoots a little low. Get my trigger. I hope you can see me. If you can't, sorry about that. All right, so here it goes. This thing shoots a little low. Yeah, let's go take a look. Yep. Okay, a lot low. <laughs> Not bad. Just a little bit to the left. This is brand new arrows. Never tried. Never. They're obviously not high dollar, fifteen, twenty dollar arrows. But for what I got here, it'll work. Shoot seventy-two of them. That's what it's about. I'll get better at it. I'm still a novice. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.